I'm Keith Welch, and welcome to iOS iCloud Development. iCloud is a remote storage service available to iOS apps. And in this course, we're going to show you how to work with your apps to access the iCloud feature. iCloud allows sharing of data among devices, even Windows boxes. So that makes it a great feature for syncing data, like contact information, or photo sharing, or perhaps a calendar of a user, or their documents, across all of their devices. So the course will discuss, but more importantly, will demonstrate how to use the iCloud API. We're going to be working, of course, in iOS Objective-C, and we'll be building up some apps along the way. We'll start out by taking a look at the local file system. Until you understand how to work with the local file system, you won't be able to use iCloud. So we're going to use that as a foundation for our future apps in iCloud. We'll start working with directory and file management, and then we'll go to reading and writing files, and then we'll take a look at another feature which isn't specific to iCloud, but is interesting in its own way, and that's archiving. That provides local object storage. So we can store things like configuration information for the application. There is a corresponding aspect to iCloud, which we'll also take a look at. Then after we've done those preliminaries, we'll start working with iCloud. And we'll start by using the UI document interface. And we'll initially use that locally and expand it to using it in the cloud. Then we'll spend some time setting up. Unfortunately, using the iCloud is not just a matter of calling APIs in the operating system. There's a fair amount of setup that has to be done both in registering the app on the Apple development site and also within the app project itself. Then we'll start reading and writing iCloud files, and then we'll do a little bit of file management with deleting and renaming, and then we'll work with multiple file documents, which is an area where multiple files can be combined into a single doc. And then we'll talk about synchronization across devices. So who am I? Well, I have 30 years in the industry. I have 10 years in .NET, and more importantly and applicable here is 10 years in mobile. Back when I started in mobile, the big choice was between a Palm Pilot and a Pocket PC. You remember those, right? At this point, the big choice is more between iOS and Android, and you don't necessarily have to make that choice. We can work in both, and I do, often. So in terms of operating systems, I do work in iOS and Android, and a little bit in Windows Mobile, not like it used to be, of course. And then I get into Web Forms and WCF, and old Windows Forms, again, not as much as it used to be. In terms of databases, SQL Server is the primary one I've dealt with. But of course, for mobile apps, SQLite is in there as well. And I've done data migration projects. I work with Objective-C, Java, c -sharp, VB, JavaScript, and of course, jQuery. My contact information is here. I'm the founder of Mooseworks Software. And you can find that at mooseworksoftware.com. And with Mooseworks, we specialize in mobile developer tools and also custom app development. Feel free to contact me if you have any questions, keith at mooseworksoftware.com. And if you need any help in getting started developing your app, I'd be happy to hear from you. So let's get on with the coding.